Our modern electronic forms of communication have made the art of letter writing lost to time. When was the last time you ever wrote a personal letter to someone by hand? Have you ever received a handwritten letter? I admit that I haven't. I've long been fascinated by letters from the past for their capacity to let us peer into the lives of the people who wrote them. More interestingly, they allow us to learn about their love lives. Love Letters from History is a series I will be starting on this channel. Every episode, I will read the love letters from a historical figure, hoping to better understand them and the way they loved. The topic of this video is Beethoven's letter to his immortal beloved, written on the 6th and 7th of July, 1812. Ludwig van Beethoven was a German composer and one of the greatest and most admired musical composers of the Western world. Despite the fact that at age 28 he was slowly becoming deaf, he continued to conduct, perform, and compose masterpieces. However, he was known for his unhappiness and his unruly temper, which was complicated by his ill health and hypochondria. Fifteen years after his death at 57, the love letter was found amongst his papers. It had never been sent off to his immortal beloved. Good morning on July 7th. Though still in bed, my thoughts go out to you, my immortal beloved. Now and then, joyfully, then sadly, waiting to learn whether or not fate will hear us. I can live only wholly with you or not at all. Yes, I am resolved to wander so long away from you until I can fly into your arms and say that I am really at home with you and can send my soul enwrapped in you into the land of spirits. Yes, unhappily it must be so. You will be the more contained since you know my fidelity to you. No one else can ever possess my heart. Never, never. Oh God, why must one be parted from one whom one so loves. And yet my life in Vienna is now a wretched life. Your love makes me at once the happiest and the unhappiest of men. At my age, I need a steady, quiet life. Can that be so in our connection? My angel, I have just been told that the mail coach goes every day. Therefore, I must close at once so that you may receive the letter at once. Be calm. Only by a calm consideration of our existence can we achieve our purpose to live together? Be calm. Love me. Today. Yesterday. What tearful lodgings for you. You. My life. My all. Farewell. Continue to love me. Never misjudge the most faithful heart of your beloved. Ever thine. Ever mine. Ever ours. People have long speculated about the identity of the Immortal Beloved. One possibility is Antony von Birkenstock Brentano. Beethoven had dedicated musical compositions to Antony and the two had been intimately involved during 1811 and 1812. Antony left Vienna with her husband in late 1812 and never met or corresponded with Beethoven again. In 1812, Antony was not only married, but most likely pregnant. Some even speculating that Beethoven was the father of Antony's son. Others believe the letter was intended for Josephine Brunswick, the youngest daughter of a Hungarian countess to whom Beethoven taught piano lessons. After Beethoven's initial infatuation with her, Josephine married an elderly count who later died in 1804. After the Count's death, Beethoven would visit her and the two began a passionate correspondence. Initially, he accepted that Josephine could not love him, but he continued to address himself to her even after she had moved away. Perhaps his immortal beloved was Countess Giulietta Guicciardini whom he met through the Brunswick family. Beethoven mentions his love for Julie in a November 1801 letter to a friend, 
but class differences prevented Beethoven from pursuing her. His 1802 Moonlight Sonata was dedicated to Julie. Another candidate is Therese Malfatti, who was the niece of Beethoven's doctor as well as a pupil of his. At age 40, Beethoven proposed to a 19-year-old Therese and was rejected. Beethoven never married. After 1812, Beethoven seemed to have never again been romantically involved with anyone. The unsent love letter does not provide much information on who Beethoven intended as the recipient, and so the identity of the immortal beloved remains a mystery. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, be sure to like and subscribe.